For more resources, visit rymonline.org. The Local Youth Worker is a daily podcast that's centered on five questions each week. Ranging from the practical to the professional, we're looking for answers to the questions you're asking. Whether you're in full-time, part-time, or even volunteer youth ministry, this podcast is for you. All right, everybody, we're back. Uh, If you listened to yesterday's uh, episode, we're here with Reverend Kurt Cooper. And uh, it's a podcast this week about podcasts and podcasting. And yesterday we, well, Kurt, briefly explained what a podcast is and kind of the, the origins of podcasting. Um, a second question today is, why do you listen to podcasts? Okay, well, why would anyone listen to podcasts, right? I mean, why wouldn't you just listen to music? That's what most people listen to when they're listening to things. Sure. Um, well, first of all, um, music is great, and I love music, and I listen to a lot of music. But, you know, if you're in your car, there's a lot of time where you're in your car, you're working out, you're... Mowing the lawn? Mowing the... Oh, yes. Mowing mowing the lawn, um, doing your chores uh, in the house or outside the house in the yard, where uh, where you might listen to music, sure, uh, but there, there are other things to listen to. And just like talk radio blew up and they found out, hey, people like to listen to people discuss things. Um, why you should listen to podcasts is you can listen to some... You, you can be enlightened and learn a lot of things and listen to some really thoughtful discussion. Um, Or if you're not into it, some really unthoughtful discussion. You can listen to some screeds by whoever, like, but you can (laughs) listen to whatever you want while you're doing those things. I spend more than a little time in the car, um, and podcasts are a great way for me to redeem the time. Mm -hmm. Uh, I I just, like everybody else, I love to sing loudly and off-key in the car to, you know, (laughs) the hits of... The 70s, 80s, 90s, and today. Um, <laughs> it's but, not that off key. Yeah, the, it, no, it's really off key. So, but um, <laughs> yeah, I'm one of those guys who's like in the embarrassing round of American Idol. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, uh, where I'm like, right there with you. Yeah, I just have just enough self awareness not to think that I'm awesome. So, um, <laughs> but I also might like to be engaged mentally. Um, and I find that on road trips that lots of times podcasts make my road trips go mm. by very quickly. Um, yeah. So, um, and I might listen to some things that are uh, kind of off the wall. We'll talk more about what kind of podcasts that you listen to. Um, but there's really, um, you know, do you want to keep up with the English Premier League? That's a, you know, a sports league that happens six hours away from us um, time zone wise or more. And, uh, a great way to do that is to listen to a podcast about that and keep mm-hmm. up with that. So, um, or you might want to hear about, you know, just like, we'll, we'll get into podcasts, I think, that we listen to. But yeah, yeah. I'll listen to them to redeem the time. Yeah, I mean, that, that's the, the primary thing for me. I, I mean, obviously, Scripture does um, charge us to redeem the time. Mm-hmm. We know that Jesus Christ ultimately redeemed the time for us, but there are ways in which uh, we should do that out of, out of a love for what Christ has already done uh, for us. Um, but, but I found... I mean, I'm with you. I love music, and I listen to music. And there was a time, I mean, back in the day, high school and college, where I was buying a CD a week. But as I've gotten older... What are CDs? I don't know. No, I'm older <laughs> than John, so I need to... Yeah. Um, but, I, but I've just found that I, as I've gotten older, I hardly ever listen to music while I'm driving. Mm. And I either just want silence mm-hmm. to reflect. <laughs> but That's probably because... <laughs> I do probably because you're a father. <laughs> um, but I do... I, I, <laughs> I enjoy putting a podcast on, I mean, almost every time I'm in the car. And I find that it's kind of, I mean, it's good just to let your your mind go and reflect. But I find that podcasts can kind of control that reflection and kind Mm. of steer it down a certain path in a certain way. And so it's it's a little guided reflection, maybe. Um, But I think that's a a good reason why. Well, I think one more reason why that I had had written down why I might listen to podcasts is that I can listen, I can sit under the teaching of any pastor I want. With podcasts, I yeah. mean, when you, you know, go maybe you live in a small town, and I think you know that small town pastors are the best pastors in a lot of ways. Absolutely. Um, but you know, you just live in a small town. You could live your whole life and uh, and live a good life in a 
God honoring life, but only hear maybe two or three pastors a year tops. Well, with podcasts, you can listen to whoever you want. I listen to my former RUF ministers all the time. Um, I'll just name check them now, but Brian Haybig um, at Downtown Press um, in Greenville, South Carolina, and Ricky Jones. And what used to be Redeemer is now River Oaks in Tulsa. Uh, I listen to their sermons quite frequently, and I can listen to them anytime I want. Um, I can catch up on series that they're, that they're doing um, and steal all their ideas and make them seem like they're mine. <laughs> just kidding, guys, if you have to listen to this. So, so not really just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that is a good point. I mean, like you said, it's important to affirm you know, the local church and supporting your own pastor without mm-hmm. a doubt and, and knowing that they're the ones who know you mm-hmm. and shepherd you and yeah. walk alongside you. But, I mean, what an enormous gift of God and blessing to be able to listen to. I mean, so, some of the, the, the most uniquely gifted you know, mm-hmm. pastors across the globe, mm-hmm. as well as just, you know, experts in you know, numerous fields that you can mm-hmm. just listen to and seminary professors, all of that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I mean, that's, that's an excellent reason uh, why to listen to podcasts. Yeah, but you should, I'll just say this, and the people who are listening to this are probably youth workers, and, um, you know, if any college students happen to listen to this, you should go to church. You shouldn't just sit in your bed and say, oh, well, I'll listen to a Tim Keller sermon. That's not going to church. And that's, that's right. Not, you know, um, but anyway. I, I that's probably, good to bring that up. I, don't, I, I probably shouldn't have to make that caveat, but um, but I know that that, you know, some people might say, oh, well, why do I need to go to the church? That's full of, you know, people that are annoying me and, you know, i got to get up and get dressed and do all that stuff. I can just listen to, um, you know, whoever it is that I want to listen to. Uh, but, and obviously... I wouldn't suggest that, you know, but I think it is a great benefit. You know, on, on Tuesday, I'm listening to Ricky Jones preach and one thing, and on Wednesday, I might be listening to Brian Hay preaching another passage, and then my own, our own senior pastor is going through a different series, so I'm getting a lot more preaching than I would normally, which I think is a blessing. Yeah, yeah, and one more thing on that before we um, end this one, on answering the question, why do we listen to podcasts? Something I've done, too, a few times that's helpful and um, tomorrow we'll discuss which podcast we listen to. But um, there have been times, too, just as far as having a morning devotion time and quiet mm-hmm. time that I've found you know, some podcasts that are a little short. Um, mm-hmm. And as I'm still waking up in the morning, mm-hmm. even listening to those, kind of sipping on coffee, waking mm-hmm. up before my brain's even awake enough mm-hmm. yet to feel like I can read Scripture and comprehend it. It's kind of like during that time as you're waking up, it just... Mm-hmm you know, can help you begin to reflect and get your brain going. So that, that's been a helpful time for me on, on when to use uh, a podcast. So anything else you want to add, Kurt? No, I think that's great. All right. Thanks, man.